We are reading today Shishi Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, verse 116. If we can attain the confidential service of the very form of complete love rasa, Shiradika, the daughter of the chief of Raja Maharaja Vrishabhan. <coughs> then what is the use of religious principles? The gods regulate the devotion to the Supreme Lord or Thank even... You. When devotee see God, religious principle, <coughs> then they see God. Read at this time. Religious, they see God. Read again this time. Then what is the use of religious principles, the gods, regulated devotion to the Supreme Lord, or even endeavors to associate with Shyama Sundara's dear devotees to us. Yeah. <clears throat> read again if we can attain the confidential service of the very form of complete love rasta Shri Radhika <clears throat> the daughter of the chief of Raja, Maharaja Rishabhan. Then what is the use of religious principles? The gods regulated devotion to the Supreme Lord or even endeavors to associate with Shyam Sundara's dear devotees to us. Understand the religious principle, God and Shyam Sundara. Explain. So, uh, <coughs> many people uh, looking after religious principle or try to follow religious principle. It's called Dharma Arta. <clears throat> karma, moksha. Uh, so dharma is a religious principle, religious work. And arta means to making money or accumulate money. And karma means to fulfill our material desire, like a sense of gratification. <coughs> and moksha is liberation. And then beyond, also here say gods. Many people worshiping gods to, to 
to fulfill our, our material desire. Like Guru Dev say, Amazon. If we pay some money, we can get something. And also this say, regulated devotion to Supreme Lord. Like uh, Vaikuntha Bhakti, Narayan worship. Oh. Or say to, to associate with Shama Sundara's devotee. Many people like to associate Shama Sundara, Krishna. It's called Vishama Sneha. Of course, many people, many Rasa. Shantarasa, Dasharasa, eh, Sakyarasa, Bassarasa, Madurarasa, neutral relationship, and eh, master and servant relationship, and friendly relationship, and eh, parental relationship, and conjugal relationship. But highest one, highest worship, high highest seva, he said, this say Raho Dashan Hashaha. This is say the, the service of Radharani. Service of Radharani is highest. Oh, why that? Because without Radharani, Krishna cannot do anything. Even Krishna cannot do create, Krishna cannot maintain, Krishna cannot annihilate. Without energy of the Lord, without Radharani, he can get any pleasure. Radharani, only Radharani could fulfill all Mohan, Krishna's desire. Without Radharani, only Krishna himself. Is not complete. Many things missing. Even but last time we are reading Srimad Bhagatam, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is worshiping Krishna's energy. So we are worshiping Harikshan Mantra is worshiping Radharani. So here say, if we attain confidential service of the very home complete love rasa, Sri Radhika, if we could attain Nikunja Seva or very intimate service of Radhika, and, uh, and no other aim of life, no other religious, religious principle of life. This is Sripada. Prabhupada and Saraswati saying, Radha Dasham, the service of, of Sri Radhika is highest. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu give us 
very confidential babo urasarasan service of intimate service of shirimati radarani so gurudev saying many times religious life and spiritual life religious life is like a material using this body a spiritual life we are using not only this body also we are using spiritual body because if we want to serve spiritual being radha mohan we need to have spiritual body it called the swarupa and pavupada say page 4 of bhagavad gita <coughs> our goal of life is no swarupa and then attain swarupa siddhi so this bus confirmed rupa nuga bhakti and also which chaitanya mahaprabhu given to us kunna toja rasa and babo rasa it's it's called lada lada service lada dash if i if i can just add something and, and direct the question no i'm very audible i'm audible no goranga sundar <coughs> You can yes. hear me very good. Yes. 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 Very you nice. Can you? I cannot hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I will speak up. So, well, Jananda, you just said something very beautiful that without Mahaprabhu, we would know who is Radha Sham Sundar. <laughs> we might would know sham sundar but most likely we would only know who's god and we would only dwell into religious principles so before mahaprabhu's time or before we were introduced to mahaprabhu we were more following god and we were following rituals then i was thinking now guru dev that radha krishna's leela i was reading was this prem leela that's beautiful but what is even more beautiful what janu is saying is the prem dan leela the one who gives that prem to us who makes us understand the prem of the divine couple and that is mahaprabhu and nityananda right from there yeah oh yeah <coughs> so without prem dan without giving this to everyone who without any qualifications mahaprabhu gave it nitananda gave it to us now we can understand radha sham sundar before we were just following god or some thing we knew about krishna but now we know who is this krishna is radha krishna right to <laughs> the that um goranga goranga sundar nahi aata hua sanatiya dwara aata hai na to na bilkul religious way it is feeded part to go not to walk on this path they can bring you right to a rather this is now 
Prabodhananda Saraswati Gurudev and devotees is real example actually of Goranga's mercy. Actually, mm -hmm. yeah. he yeah. went he went through all these phases of Dharma, Vaidhi, and finally he received the mercy of Goranga yeah. and left everything and came to Vraja. So this is the proof, actually, that only by Goranga's mercy, like Gopinath said, only by Goranga's mercy and Nityananda and Panchatat all together, but especially Goranga's mercy, someone can advance through all these levels of Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, even to Krishna's friends. <laughs> And finally, he can have desire by Goranga's mercy and Nitai's mercy to, to enter and to relish Vraj. But Prabhupada Saraswati is saying in the end of this verse, what is the use of endeavors to associate with other devotees of Shama Sundara. If I receive so much mercy that I can render confidential service mm -hmm. to Shimati Radharani. Mm -hmm. So the beginning of the verse, he say, if we can attain, he is praying also for us. If we can attain confidential service, like Jayananda Ji said, Raho Dasyam. And most confidential service is Radha Dasyam. And only through this Radha Dasyam, devotee can approach to this love ocean of Rasa. How can we serve Radhika or love ocean of Rasa? If we are not close to her, and if we don't serve her in confidential mood. So, as I see here in these words, actually, like Jayanandaji said, confidential service is something which is glorifying here in these words. Confidential service to Shimati Radharani, who is complete love rasa. Love. Love cannot be served if there is no confidentiality and closeness. And especially ocean of love cannot be served with ordinary devotional service, with religious like you emphasize Gurudev, and so on. But Prabhupada Saraswati is giving the hint here that most devotees has to pass through these different stages. And he said, don't stay on any of this level of Dharma, Vaidhi, even Shyama Sundara's friends. Don't stay on that level. By Goranga's mercy, there is ultimate goal above everything. Bavo la sarati. He is speaking from the Sadakavesh, these words. And it's a proof, actually, that even in the sadaka consciousness, he is completely drowning and swimming in this love ocean of Radhika's Mahabhav. And he has realizations, good. And because of this realization, he can freely and boldly say, what is the use of religious principles? Someone who is deeply rooted in religious principles cannot think like this, cannot feel like this, cannot speak like this, 
only someone who is drowning deeply in the ocean of love. I said something. Gurudev, can I sing something and you please explain this inspiration came? One verse, small verse. Jadi gore na hoy to, tabe ki hoy to, ke man dharu tade. Radhara mahima, premada sasima, jagat janat ke, jagat janat ke. Yadi Gaur Nahuito, if the Gauranga is not coming in our time, Yama Nahuito, how is that going to happen? Yama Nahuitam De, David is spiritual, but it's. God come to give us Sarup identity that is the spiritual God na hoito to keman hoito re. How is it going to happen? This is the mercy of God that he give me a spiritual identification that Prabhupada write in the page for Saru. Currently as we stay in the sun and other institution, but we never practice Saru. This is a Gaura gift. <coughs> but Prabhupada, Bhakti, you see, be right, Saru. And what is the goal? Saru Prasiddhi, that has to be perfected, fixed nicely. That is the goal of our life. And how it can be happen? Only by intimate relation to the Istadev. Istadev is the goal of our life and the path showing thing is a guru job. When I surrender my false ego in his lotus feet, then he show the path. Before that, if you ask, they will confuse you. When you will not leave the false ego, this mercy will not flow to you. That is your internality, intimacy, that you have to surrender your faults. Faults ego makes us to dance in the Maya Shakti. Maya energy of the Krishna, external energy. Not in yoga maya. Maya Shakti, he can free my false ego surrender, then will show the hidden part. What is not known to everyone is not highway. Highway is a religious principle, and Raga is a confidential way, not open to us. That hidden path, why not do him? Because we don't want to surrender our false ego. That says that. He, so, he can so only way, but we have to walk ourselves. 
for this part. So I'm interested to watch the experience this is not ordinary service but confidential service Yes, it's confidence. We let God. No one else but Shiradika's Kinkaris can enter into the confidential Kunjalila of Radha and Mohan. For a person who attains such a high savor, what will be the use of following worldly religious principles that will only result in rewards of material enjoyment? Rather, to come out from this class is not very easy. And then they make us blind. Blind not to see other like that of the gods in the heavens. The devotee has firm faith that. Krishna Bhakti Koile Sar Karma Krita Hoy. All material duties are performed by being devoted to Krishna. Krishna the devotee never without energy is a do not move alone. If you say Krishna and you not see the energy of Krishna, you don't see Krishna. Radha's Krishna, that is the Krishna. Radha's Krishna, not alone Krishna. Radha's Krishna. Is his energy of Radhika is the energy of Radha's Radha's Radha. Similarly, Kuranga, we can't understand without Nitai. So it's Nitai for very often, Gurudev, very often devo uh, persons are practicing different kinds of religions, but they are not interesting so much in love of God. They want God without His love. And this yeah. is not possible. <laughs> this is useless endeavor, actually. We cannot separate God of, out of His love. 
love is the essence of his existence. So it means the love is ex essence of every soul. So this kind of religious dharma, acharyas very often are calling kaitava dharma, cheating religion. Because behind all this religious practice, endeavor, there is desire for myself, for my benefit, in the name of God. So this is the reason why they call it Kaitava Dharma. But a lot of conditioned souls are very, very attracted with this kind of Maya, <laughs> like you said. That is Maya Shakti. This is Maya Shakti. This is Maya. Yeah. And only through the mercy ah. and by them. Ketab Dharma is also coming in Maya. Yeah, no, no, you said. So this cheating propensity actually is infused in Dharma. <coughs> and the persons in the name of God are living, practicing something but actually they don't want to attain love. And this is complete spontaneous nature of conditioned soul. <laughs> and we can see here that Prabhupada Saraswati also in these words are warning actually. Be careful my dears. Don't go in this trap of Maya. Because it's very, it sounds, it can sound very nice. Because it's promising to fulfill all your materialistic desires. And devotee has firm faith that all material duties are performed by being devoted to Krishna first. So if somehow some kind of love, devotional love towards Krishna first appears in the heart of person by the mercy of Krishna and his devotee, then he has a proper mentality, proper intelligence, the Dadi Buddhi Yoga. Because some bhajatam priti, some priti appears in his heart. And immediately he starts to receive spiritual intelligence. The daddy put him. <coughs> Yo. So this desire for liberation, even for different spiritual opulences, has to be purified from the heart. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise, how can confidential service to the ocean of love rasa can be attained?
So we should understand really what is a pure devotional life, pure devotional service. Uttama Bhakti. And then slowly and generally raise our consciousness to the ultimate goal. But by mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this ultimate goal is very fixed and obvious, even if, if it is hidden. Hidden and obvious. For those who has the greed, who are not satisfied with all these different goals of life, then the Dadi Buddhi Yoga starts to appear. Because materialistic person, conf um, conditioned person, doesn't have this spiritual intelligence. It must come and it must be infused in his heart to awake his dormant love. So Prabhupada Saraswati is saying, what is the goal? Confidential service to Radhika. And to be aware of difficult uh, of different obstacles, blockages which can appear on that hidden secret part. I don't know, I say something. Please. The devotees of Sri Radhika are not interested in attaining the luxurious position of a god in heaven. Lord Shankara told Only them, someone, sorry, only someone <clears throat> who attained this sublime position can be free from this subtle, deep-rooted desire for liberation in the form of attaining the luxurious position of God. <coughs> Prema can change the heart, not three gunas, even sattva. Kuranga Solar? Yeah. yeah. Can, can we then say that Bhagavad Sarati, if we have attained this, is the taste is even higher than world. The taste is so high that even the position of a demigod is not appealing anymore. How is this possible? For someone who is rather dasa, dasi, situated in his taibab, it's very possible and only solution. Wow. But the problem is, if we are not situated in this Thai Baba, that then all these attractions are very, very <laughs> tricky and attractive to our hearts. And this is the reason why Prabhupada Saraswati is mentioning here from this Sadakavesh. Be careful because you have to be situated in confidential service. Mm -hmm. Then you will be fixed. And all these propensities for other things, kaitava things, cheating things, mm -hmm. will vanish from the heart. Otherwise, 
they will always appear in some or other form. So we have to take shelter at the lotus feet of Guru Dev, of Guru Mandir. Yes. Shelter of Guru Dev, shelter of Radhika and Her Mohan, shelter of Nitai God, shelter of everyone who can help us to come on this position that we can be engaged in this Raho Dasya, confidential service. So that's the reason why we need association. Yes, Jan Anderj. Yes. <clears throat> my feeling, my understanding is first step is we understand we are spirit to soul. And then we have a, a super soul, super soul. And then to 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 make relationship, we we have to give up our false ego. Guru Dev say offer at the lotus feet of Guru Dev. Then Guru Dev can. Take all the ego. So he said, Guru Dev can drink whole ego, but he cannot go to the heart because the heart is rather more high there. So, like, like Lord Shiva. He, he kept in this throat. So then become bluish or like a, like a, like blackish. So only Guru Dev can take out our false ego. Poison. This is the greatest mercy of Guru Dev. Nobody can do this. Guru Dev is always smashing our false ego. Due to his love, due to his masterful or his Radha Dasha, his Radha Dasi, he could understand. <coughs> False ego, if we keep false ego, then many suffering, many trouble is coming. This false ego is not only material desire, also subtle de desire there. Like a lava, Puja, Pratista. <laughs> oh, I need profit. I need money. I need building. I need temple. And then, oh, everyone should worship me. Don't you know? I'm greatest devotee. I'm guru. You know. I have a very special person, not like you. I'm very special. That kind of profit, adoration, distinction is coming. Then Guru Dev see our heart. Oh, you are not fixing Stai Baba. What are they doing? You are kaput. You are bogus. And smash us. All we need is love and care. Not for the sake of. 
So this uh, Gurudev, Gurudev is a guide, navigator. So Gurudev show us the way, Ishta Nishta and Ishta Deva. <laughs> but without mercy of good day, it is impossible to attain Swarupa and Swarupa City or Ishta, Ishta Nishta, Swarupa Nishta, and Guru Nishta. It is impossible. So these days, Guru Dev was very very much stressing. So Guru is not a goal. Guru is show us the way. But also Guru Dev take out our false ego. And he can drink. Oh my God, what kind of mercy Guru Dev has Gurudev can, could suffer on behalf of, you know, us for the pleasure of Ishtadev. This is really, we are realizing oh, what kind of mercy Gurudev has. All we need <laughs> is Guru Dev's guidance <laughs> to attain this confidential service of Sri Radha. This is taught by Sri Goranga Mahaprabhu and Rupa Raghunath. Also, Guru Dev is saying very interesting point. Rupa Goswami telling us the general principle, general teacher. But the Rupa Goswami does not teach us how to do it. How to do it, his disciple. His intimate servant, like Raghunata Das Goswami, could show us how to practice in Daganuga Bhajan. So, this is Gurudev recently uh, show us uh, the way. If, if I could just add something, sure. I, I just felt that Guru Kripa is like a coin, two sides. On the one side, the mercy is helping us to take out this false ego. The mercy of Guru Dev brings the poison and it cleans our heart so that some nishta comes. And when this nishta grows and becomes more thick and condensed, means I have more faith in my Guru Dev, I have more faith in my Ishta Dev, and then he turns the coin. And on the other side, he says, then here is your Ishta Dev, and here is your Seva. So Guru Kripa then helps us to enter the Nikunja Seva, the confidential Seva. And as Jananda Ji said, and then all our Raganuga, Rupanuga Parampara is showing how we are introduced in the Nikunja Seva. First, Radharani will ask so Rupa Manjari, hey Rupa, who is this new, who is this new girl, who is this new Dasi there in the corner, standing so shyly? And then Rupa would say, oh my baby. She introduced me. 
Ananga Manjuri introduced me, Ranga Manjuri, Manjulali Manjuri introduced me to her. She belongs to her. So our introduction comes to Gurudev. Our washing comes to, the washing of the ego comes to Gurudev. So how merciful Gurudev is. Always he has two, the coin has two sides. We have to always think this. When he smashes our ego, we know that he would, on the other side, he's preparing us for this. No Gurudev. Beautiful. Beautiful. We know Sarup cannot come with the ego. If I want to get live in the Sarup, we have to leave God. His goal to bring up Sarup and then he say Sarup for practice and 24 7 that it becomes perfect. And also, Guru Dev is uh, believing us by the mercy of Guru Dev. If we could attain, so, uh, Ishta, Ishta Deva, Ishta Nishta. If we could attain Swarupa City. Only Swarup. Swarup, okay, Swarup. And, and then, then practice. And then, a pretty, and study, yes. And so. then, <laughs> Guru Nishta become very sick. From beginning, Guru Nishta is there. It's not, not enough. Uh, Shraddha, maybe Shraddha. But uh, if Ishta Nishta and Swarupa Nishta is coming, then Guru Nishta become Guru, Guru Shraddha become Guru Nishta very sick. Then at that time, we could appreciate Guru Dev. We are seeing this Guru Dev the Vyasa Puja Day. Guru Dev show us his feeling for Guru Dev. How Radha Govinda Das Babaji Maharaj, Guru Dev is Guru Dev. It's so merciful upon their disciple. So he's singing the glorification of Guru Dev. We could see his behavior. We could see his feeling. Then we understand how Guru Dev is Guru Nishta. It's so strong. So everybody in that uh, uh, on the, that in that ceremony in that scene, we could feel it. At least some feeling we could get. It. So that we want to learn from Guru Dev. That is. Uh, my honest uh, like a feeling and we, I, I felt <clears throat> something came to me Jayanandaji when you are, were talking about this Guru Nishta Ishta Nishta Swarup Nishta first Guru Shraddha all this Items are actually mixing together because if there is gen genuine Guru Nishta, genuine Guru Nishta, then automatically will appear like result 
like fruit of this Guru Nishta, will appear Ishta Nishta. And the strong is Ishta Nishta, automatically will appear Swarup Nishta, and Guru Nishta again will be more and more and more intense. So they are combining each other, they are mixing together and nourish each other. It's not that I have uh, to, to come on the level of, of Guru Nishta and nothing will happen next 20, 30 years. If there is real, genuine, honest, sincere Guru Nishta, automatically, because of that love and Nishta, Ishta, Dev will appear. Wow. This is a very good point because, you know, sometimes we are, at first we heard from Guru Dev. At first, Guru Nishta coming, then Ishta Nishta is coming, then Swarupa Nishta coming. Then Guru Dev change, you know. Guru Dev change. We sometimes confuse, you know, first Ishta Nishta, Swarupa Nishta, and then Guru Nishta. So, Gauranga Sundara Ji explained very nicely. This three thing is not to, not to separate. It's it's always kind of very much relationship. They are like going simultaneously. They are going yes. simultaneously. Like a thread, you know. If I say this thread, butter, you know, and this thread, you know, if we want to make some cross, mm -hmm. always need how to say this this thread and that thread. And then, you know, like kind of mixing. So, and then we can, then Guru Dev, according to Guru Dev, the realization, some situation, Guru Dev say different way. I think that this is very important because Guru Dev is also, so many times are pointing out to clarify this actually, because sometimes, Devotee can be in this conception, Guru is not a goal. Ishta, Dev, Radhika is a goal. Yes, that's okay. But if you really have desire for Radhika, you will automatically approach to her maidservant. True. <laughs> and, and if the person approach with love and humility, to Radhika's maidservant, automatically fruit of this approachment and surrendering, <laughs> offering, will be more faith, more taste in Ishtadev. Wow. And out automatically, Swarup is manifesting. It's not avoidable because there is no Ishta Nishta without Swarup Nishta. It's not possible from bodily consciousness of life to have Swarup uh, Ishta Nishta or even Guru Nishta. Swarup Nishta helps and nourish Guru Nishta. And Swarup Nishta helps and nourish Ishta Nishta. Ishta Nishta helps and nourish Swarup Nishta and Guru Nishta. And Guru Nishta helps and nourish Ishta Nishta and Swarup Nishta, like a waving. Like you, like you said, this crossing the threads. It's a waving, perfect waving. And this is our security net. Yes. And also, in the other day, maybe day, day before yesterday, Uttabaji is, is described so nicely, Bhagavad Gita. We are, we are completely meriting by Uttabaji's explanation. And he also explained uh, Guru, worship Guru is two way. Like a Guru thinks, oh, Guru is like a GPS. So, you know, go this way, that way, this way, then you can go. Another way is with love. Love is the kind of navigator, not GPS. 
after hearing his words, oh, I got to some, some, something. Guru Dev is openly say 24-7. 24-7, only possible if we love Guru Dev, if we love Ishta Dev. So if we have rubber, then we cannot, do, difficult to forget rubber. Whatever seeing, oh, my lover is what, is, what she is doing, what he is doing, or oh, what he likes, what she likes, always meditating that way. So, good day, say, love is a way. Love is a goal. So, by the mercy of Uddhavaji and Guru Dev, I got to some little key. Oh, to, how to be 24 7? Is love Guru Dev, love Ishta Dev. That is the way. So all our acharyas are embodiment of love. And I remember a few years ago when Prabhupada, Gurudev said actually how Prabhupada conquered the world. Not because of philosophy, not because of gyan, arguments, logic, because of love. Wow. This is the words of our beloved Gurudev. You know, because Radha Dasi, Radha's personification, Fradin Shakti, personification of divine highest love. So whoever Dasi of Radhika has divine love, divine love, like a Pabupa, like Abba Guru Den. The devotees, Lord Shankara, told Devi in Srimad Bhagavan, the devotees of Narayana are never afraid, and they look equally upon heaven, liberation, or hell. If the devotees that reverentially worship Lord Narayana think like that, then what to speak of Raga Nuga Bhaktas that have the superior taste of Sri Radhika's Dasya? So, Anata, does Babaji is saying here, The devotion to Narayan brings so many opulences, benefits. And Prabhupada Saraswati was the example of that. Because he was the worshipper of Narayan. Very prominent Acharya. But when he received the Kripa, Gora Kripa, he became Raga Nuga Bhakta and he became in Radha Dasi. So this is completely another level and not even another level, it's another planet, <laughs> like we said. <laughs> because all forms of Narayan and all his beloved devotees are present in Vaikuntha. But by the mercy of someone who is Raga Atmik devotee, who is eternal associate, 
maid servant of Radhika. Person has opportunity to taste this superior taste of she Radhika Dasi. And it cannot be explained by words how this taste is tasteful. It cannot be explained by words. Someone has to personally realize it, drink it, taste it, eat it, nourish himself with this, to have personal realization. We can talk and talk and talk, but it's just, if we don't have any whiff of realizations, it's like trying to lick, to taste the honey who, which is in the glass of bottle, but always licking the glass, not opening and tasting the honey in the glass. It is example of Bhakti Siddhanta Sarswar. We are talking it about this to inspire us, ourselves, to go deeper in this honey of Radhika's love. Not to stay always on the level of words. Words are here to give us inspiration to taste them. But if we don't have eagerness of our own, then things can be different. We will be always on the surface of the ocean or on the shore, let's better, on the shore of the ocean, but never deep diving in the ocean. And someone who has realization of these two differences, ordinary devotion and pure devotion, confidential devotion, like Prabhupada Saraswati, he is speaking these words, words, and Baba is giving commentaries very clearly that we can understand the differences and then practice. Daddy. The words Kim Cha Vidina can mean different things. First, what is the use of the position of Lord Brahma to us? When Gopakumar, the hero of, of Brihad Bhagavatamrita, attained the position of Lord Brahma, he became very disturbed about the entanglement in the innumerable duties of creation and maintenance of the material creation. Number two. So this is the perfect example. What does it mean to have a strong false ego? I want to control. I want that position in which I can control everything and everyone. Even I can create so many things. And Gopkumar is example. He attained this, that position of Brahma. Supreme in material world. Krishna gave him. But he was in illusion, actually. 
He was in such illusion that he couldn't understand that this boy in Vraja can play, can be playful, Prince of Vraja. Because his false ego is so strong because he has so much intelligence, God-given intelligence. And Gop Kumar, like devotee, what he felt in that position. He felt the burden of cre creation and maintenance. So Sanatana Goswami is trying through this example, as I understand, to show us, my dears, even if you attain the most, the highest planet for enjoyment, you will not satisfy. Because without pure devotion, heart and soul cannot be never satisfied. Yayatma, I think in Bhagavatam is say Yayatma suprasiddhati. Only thing which can bring the happiness in the soul, to the soul, is unconditional devotion, pure loving devotion service. Mm -hmm. And we are talking now, or many other times, we are talking about this subject and repeating the same thing so many times, because it has to be clear What's going on? What is the real benefit for our, for the soul? And how to attain the goal? How to define the goal and how to attain the goal? Because we cannot practice sadhana without attain, de defining the goal. Only those who define the goal can practice sadhana, practice, to attain that sadhya, that goal. If we don't know what is the goal, we cannot practice sadhana for that goal, and most probably devotee will stay on the level of dharma, religion. This is my understanding why Guru Dev is so much, and all our acharyas, not only Guru, Emphasizing, define your goal, fix your goal, fix, fix, fix. But I'm deeply merged in Sanchari, ping pong. So my words are pretty empty. It's better to listen to someone who realized that. <laughs> What is the use of following the Vedic principles of Varnashrama, the case and position system to us? Srinarutam Das Thakura sings, Veda Vidi Aguchara, Ratana Vedira Para, Sevoniti Kishora Kishun. Nicely serve Kishora and Kishori, who sit on a jewel throne and who are not perceived by merely following the Vedic principles. This is clear. Naimitika Dharma or Nitya Dharma? Varna Ashrama Dharma? is temporary dharma 
And what is the use of following that? And Narottamada said, follow Nitya Dharma. Nicely serve Kishore Kishori. Not every form of Radha and Krishna, but Kishori and Kishore. <coughs> what is the use? <laughs> what is the use of regulated devotion, Vidi Bhakti, to us when we feel spontaneous Madhura love for Sri Radhika? Madhura love. It's not ordinary love. It's not ordinary confidential service. It's Madhura Seva. To Maduri. Radhika, who is Maduri? Every pore of her existence is a Maduri. Her love is Maduri. His, her compassion is Maduri. Her playfulness is Maduri. Her glances are Maduri. Maduri, 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 Maduri. <laughs> so what is the use of Vaidhi Bhakti? It will bring me to the level of Brahma. Because I'm so foolish, I'm full of material desires. I will practice my Vaidhi, Vidhi, and attain Vidhi. And I will attain Vidhi. Who is the Vidhi? Brahma is the Vidhi. One of the name of Brahma is the Vidhi. <laughs> so spontaneous sweetness is present nearby Shimati Radharani. Spontaneous, confidential, sweet service <coughs> of sweet radicas, lotus feet. This is the teachings of our Gaudiya Rupa Nuga Vaishnavasa. <laughs> These regulations are simply hampering our spontaneous feelings. Mm -hmm. This is very Prabhupada is saying, <laughs> Prabhupada is saying, Chaitanya Charitamrita, if you want spontaneous service, just leave this because it will blockage in your life. But we need a guidance. Guidance on that path. Narrow, hidden path. Of Madhura, Madhura, Madhura. Seva for our Madhuri, 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 Kishori. Kishori. That's why Nitai broke the danda of Goranga. <laughs> Dayo. Dayo. Finally, Sripada says, when we have the superior relish of Radhika's confidential service, then what is even the use of making friends with Krishna's devotees to us. Without Shirada, their mercy is useless to us. Who can say this? 
only someone who is completely fixed in his Radha Dasi Staiba. Who will reject Krishna if he appears in front of him? Only Radha Dasi. But not by the name of Radha Dasi. By the strong fixed Staibhav. Srila Raghunadas Goswami vows. It is my firm vow never to associate with those hypocrites who worship only Govinda without worshiping Shirani. Mm. Yeah. 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 I, it is my firm vow never to associate with those hypocrites who worship only Govinda without worshiping my Sri Radhika. Yeah. Yeah. The end of verse 116. Wow. Very nice verse. Everyone has to care and and everyone has to guide to the devotees. Very important. This foundation has to be very clearly understanding is very, very, very important. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Yeah. Thank you, Gurudev. Great, great. I'm touching your feet and embracing you. <laughs> my good wishes and love to you all. I want to see the beauty do that energy. How many are there? Hmm? Nani? Sixty-six. Uh, there are 